Did we all see the Jake Paul and Nate Diaz fight? Oh my God, I'm completely underwhelmed. I'm gonna be completely honest, I was underwhelmed. I expected a lot more and I didn't get it. I truly didn't get it. I got a lot more from the girls. The girls fight was amazing. I was jumping up at the screen, I was screaming. I don't watch MMA, I don't. So I didn't really know who Nate was. And I followed boxing my whole life because my dad's an ex-pro boxer, but I don't really follow the MMA. So I didn't really know what Nate was about. I didn't. And he's just so unusual. Like my father was texting me, he said, I've never seen a boxer like Nate before in my whole entire life. Never gonna make it, you're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different, and you must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get You don't know where he's coming from. You don't know where he's going. One minute he's just walking around, walking around, the next oh. minute he's like, bang, you know what I mean? Like, you just, he's just, he's unusual. He's a very unusual character. He's like, I don't really wanna be here. That's the vibe he gives out. I don't really wanna be here, but hey, I'm here now. I might give it a go. Do you know what I mean? That's what he's about. And Jake, I thought Jake had him. I thought Jake had him in the first round. But I feel that if there are more rounds, I think Nate would have pulled it through. Yeah, I agree. I reckon he would have been able to pull through as well. You even see it later on in the fight. He was able to knock Jake around a bit in the eighth round. Yeah, see, I thought Nate looked very lethargic early on, but he seemed to have settled in and he found he could make Jake uncomfortable with pressure and inside work. The way inside, you need to be And then he got his confidence up and was like, come on, come on, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like his yeah, confidence kind of started. Confident in there. <laughs> yeah, and I love that. I love seeing that because I've seen such him being like he's not interested in this whole fight throughout the whole interview process. Mm. He didn't seem like he wanted to be there. But all of a sudden he had this gust of wind and he wanted to be there. And I really, really liked the ending. I wanted to see more rounds. Yeah. It was not too bad. I expected more from Jake. I thought Jake would have had more gusto because if you look at Jake and you look at Nate, Jake looks a lot fitter. Nate looked actually sloppy. Let's call the foul. Press Nate's posture is very poor. He's very round shoulders and he walks like this, do you know what I mean? Like it looks a little bit ape-like. And you know, Jake's very strong and tall. And I just thought, I truly thought that Jake would have had this a lot sooner. Yeah. Now, if Jake went into MMA, there's not a chance. There's not a chance. Nate has this, well, 100%. That would be interesting. Oh, I want him to as well. Yeah. But there's not a chance that Jake will beat Nate in MMA. There's not one ounce of chance. There isn't. I enjoyed it though. I love the girls a lot more. Oh my God, I can talk about the girls forever in a day because the girls were the highlight of this whole Nate and yeah, Jake. hundred percent. We also want to offer our condolences to Drake. That's right. The poor thing's lost 250K. His curse lives on.